What a terrible, gloomy day. Ah, that's better. The skies are clear, and it's beautiful. Shut down. Hey, hello, once again, YouTube. Sam here, also known as Kedra Burger, and I'm here, and I'm going to show you guys just how to make these JSON books. They're quite cool. Um, they sure can help a lot in Redstone World and stuff. They can help you teleport to places. Basically, any command you can think of, you can have them in here. They are super cool, and I absolutely love them. I'm going to be using them all the time in my videos. And, uh, I've, I've been learning how to make them, and, uh, I've been learning a lot of the commands, so let's get right into it. So first, uh, this is the finished book. This one right here. Um, it says, hello YouTube and welcome to my redstone testing world that I use for my channel. And then it has these list of commands, as you can see. And um, I'm going to explain to you just how I did this. And also, they have hover events. So it says, click here to change to survival mode. Click here to change to creative mode. Click here to change to adventure mode. Click here to be fed. Click here to be healed. And click here to change the weather to clear. That's the first book. As you can see, it says click there, but, you know, just because something is hovering over doesn't mean squat. So I actually can change my game mode to S, to game mode C, game mode A. I can change my game mode to all of those. I can feed myself. C gave me saturation, gave me regeneration uh, to the power of 200 for one second. So that way, you know, it automatically does its job and I don't have to wait, and it doesn't have particle effects, you know, just, you know, simple stuff, and then I can change the weather to clear, because, you know, I hate rain, I absolutely hate it, it's the most annoying thing, and it lags out my game, and it does all that, so let me just go right into game mode C, um, and let me start explaining how to do this, so first let's get rid of this guy, and then we'll pick up one of each of these, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, and tier 5. So I'm not exactly going to show you how to make exactly mine, but that command will be in my Dropbox, link to my Dropbox, or my post bin, or paste bin, paste bin, that's what it is. Paste bin. So a link to my paste bin will be in the description below. That is where all of my commands will be in these redstone videos from now on. And so let's get started. So let's look at tier 1. So, as you can see, it has invalid book tag, but it does have a name, and it says, Buy Ketchup Burger. And that's because this has an invalid book tag, and there is no text in it. But it will still give me the book. So let me look at this command and see just what we're looking at. Okay, so we're going to use a give command to give the nearest player a written book. So it's not writable, it's already written. It's published. And then we're going to do one zero, so that's the data tags for this, saying, okay, it's going to be one zero book, you know. And then we can do the title, get an, open, the cur open the curly brackets, title, colon, uh, whatever your title is going to be. Now, I used to use this, but uh, I learned that you can actually just use this instead of using the backslash. Instead of using this, you can use... Instead of using this, you can use this. So that's what I've been using because it's a lot faster to type that. Rather than doing the backslash and the uh, the quotation mark, just this little comma or apostrophe. Yeah, apostrophe. <laughs> okay, so you're just going to put in your title right here. Tier 1 is what I put mine in because this is the first tier of our books. And then the author's name, that could be whatever. In fact, right now I'll change that to Notch just because... Notch loves golden apples. There we go. That's And that's going to be the author's name. So watch, if I give this to myself, it still says invalid book tag. But if we go in here, it says it's by Notch loves golden apples. So you can basically do whatever you want. You can make it say, oh, this was by Notch. You can do all that jazz. Let's look at tier two. Um... Okay, so now let's look at Tier 2. So if I open this, it says, Hello, world! Now we're actually going to get into how we're going to put the text in these little guys. They're so fancy. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to add commands in those hover events to them. And Tiers, I think, 3, 4, and 5. I'm not sure, though. Um, so, 
Let me just go back to the beginning. You know, it's going to do all that. Got the author. Now, now that we've got the title and the author, we're going to put a comma right after that. Right smack after that. And then you're going to do pages, colon, can't forget that colon. And then we're going to do a square bracket. This is saying, okay, there's going to be multiple pages. So, this is my first page. So, the first page is going to be in quotations. And it's going to say text, con uh, apostrophe, sorry, uh, hello world. And that's just whatever you want to say. And then another apostrophe, and then that closes it out. Now, I'm just going to show you guys right now how you can do a second page. All you got to do is go after the quotation mark, do a little comma, and then you're going to add two more quotation marks, and then you're going to add two curly brackets inside of that. Now, I can't stress enough that you should put both things, like you should open it and close it before you put any text in it, because you can see it's got the opening quotation, the opening uh, curly bracket, and then it's got the closing curly bracket, and then it's got the closing quotation. And I can't stress enough that you should do that, because in these books, it can get so complicated, and there can be so many things to it. Let me just show you the finished thing, and why I want you to do this. In the end, you're not going to want to keep track of all that, okay? Look, you see all this? That is just from extras. And extras are basically whenever you want to change the data of something. So, when you want to change the data of something, you're gonna, you're gonna type in extra. And let me tell you, this, this book took me forever, this finished book. You're gonna type in extra, and you're gonna type in, uh, square bracket, and then curly bracket, and then you're gonna close it off, and can't forget that comma. I mean, uh, colon. I am going crazy today. Anyway, but I cannot stress enough how much you should do that. And then page two. Yeah, let me just put that. Page two, so that way, if we look at this, now in the tier two it has a second page, and it says page two. But, you see, once again, I can't stress enough that you need to put text, and then do this, and this. So that way it's like a data tag. It, you could just put it in these quotation marks, but then that would just that would just be straight text. There you can't add any data tags or anything to it. You can't add any data, you can't change the color. I can't stress enough that you should have these curly brackets and then text, colon, apostrophe, your text, and then apostrophe closing apostrophe. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to do color right now. So then if I get another one of these, so now you can see it actually says page two instead of uh you know, being, um, instead of having the curly brackets around it, because I did a text, and then I did the apostrophes and stuff. Okay, so now let's look at tier three. Now we have colored text, bolded text, and underlined text, but we still only have one page, because, you know, that's just how I'm doing it. So, it says, hello world, as usual. So, if we go right here, and look inside of this, so... It says, you know, title, author, blah, 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 whatever you want, text. And then it says, hello, world, you know, as usual, just like last time. It has the, in the apostrophes and stuff, but then it's just like the last episode I posted where we're making colored signs, and actually that stuff is right here. You see, for the colored signs, we did uh, all of that jazz, and then we did... Um, comma, color, white, and then we did the extra thing. It's going to be quite similar to that. So now, we can do, we can change the color of it. Um, we can do bold, we can do underlined, we can do italic, and we can also do obfuscated, and I think reset. I think we can also do those two. And I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. So now, as we can see, it says it's going to be color, gold, um, underlined, true, italic, true, bold, true, and you know, all of that. And don't forget to separate those with the comma. Now let's move on to tier four. Okay, so let's go right to the back to the beginning. Author, pages, text, hello, and I'm not making it as complicated as I did with my finished book, because that would, that just takes so long, and it's just so repetitive. That's the only problem, is the repetitiveness of it. 
Um, so hello world, color gold, comma bold, true, underlined, true, italic, true, comment. And as you can see, we're going on to a new page now. So new page and hover here. So what could that mean? So now if we go into the tier 4 book, I'm not going to move on quite yet. Go into page 2. Would you look at that? It says, you are on page 2. Fancy. So that way when I hover over this text, it actually says, you're on page 2. So now let's look at how to do that. So. Um. So now, it says, hover here. Comma, color black, bold, true, hover event. That's something new. So, we're going to do hover event uh, in upper camel case, I think it's called. Upper camel case is basically... Sorry, I think I'm losing my voice a little bit. But upper camel case is when the first letter isn't capitalized, and then every letter after that is going to be capitalized. So it's the same way in uh, click event, and it's the same way in hover event, and it's going to be the same way in basically everything else when you're doing like a data thing. So we're going to do a hover event, so we're applying an element that's a hover event onto this text. So it's going to be just like action run command, except it's going to say show text instead of run command, and it's ha going to have to be in these little apostrophes. And then we're going to do comma, value, and then we're going to do a colon. And instead of just typing in um, the apostrophe, apostrophe in front of it and apostrophe behind it to show the command, to run a command like we do in a click event, we're going to type text, colon, uh, apostrophe, you are on page two or whatever text you want and then we can actually edit the color of the text if it's bold if it's underlined um, I'll actually um, comma underlined colon true and as you can see that really affects nothing and then if I do this tier four and then now when we look at this it's underlined so yeah let me just throw this off the side. So we're done with basically every other one. So let me just put this right in front. So now, for the final one. Uh, honestly, the the hardest one to do besides that one. Obviously, because I mean, it's tier 5. Duh. So, if I open this baby up. Why can I not open this baby up? Okay. It glitched out. Sometimes that happens. I don't know why. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay. So, new page. Hover here. You are on page 2. And then, um, actually, if you want it to not say that, you have to um, make another hover event, because it'll keep going, and it'll apply to everything else. So I just made another hover event that was blank, because I didn't really want to say anything. So then in my channel, youtube.com, user ketchupburger927, that was my original channel name, now I call myself ketchupburger, I changed the name, but it still counts as ketchupburger927, just a little fun fact, and so if I click on that, it says, are you sure you want to open the following website, and so you can actually link things to things, not by saying, uh, not by using click event run command and then typing in the URL, no, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now, so, if we go into here, so, as you can see, <clears throat> so I'm just going to go through everything. So, at first it says, you are on page 2. You know, that's the, uh, let me just go all the way back. Okay. Okay, new page, hover here. Click, co colon, black, bold, true, hover event, action, colon, show text, comma, value, text, you are on page 2, color, gold bold true so that's saying the color of it is going to be gold it's going to say you are on page two and then click event action run command value say this command is working so actually that means there is a command right smack right here and it says this command is working you see that right at the bottom <sighs> now we can go back into it so you are on page two click event so we have to have two after this because we have to open it up in inside of the value there's action run, run command and that's going to be one and then there's value and then that makes two so you got to have two after this remember that remember to keep your things you know all lined up correctly and then click event colon action 
run command value say this command is working you know blah 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 extra so now we're going to use this extra and we're going to say text obfuscated so that means that's going to be this weird text you know the one that's constantly changing so that's how you get constantly changing text and then you're just going to do obfuscated colon true comma hover event action run command show text value so that way you see what I did here I just did um so after all that I did I changed the hover event so that it wouldn't say you were on page 2 cuz it the hover event applies to everything unless you change it so I don't know if there's a way to like reset it or something but uh you know it says comma extra text my in my channel backslash in means you're going on to the next line so if you want to go to the next line without having to press a bunch of random spaces like and you have to like you know test and do this and that you just type backslash in and it'll bring this text down to the next line so it says my channel obfuscated colon false comma extra and then text and then it says my channel link the link to my channel but you can't just type in text and then expect it to link it to your channel or my channel or whatever channel and then you do comma color or gold that's just you know me making it look all purty obfuscated false that way it doesn't so that way it's not obfuscated from the last time things were obfuscated then click event here's where we get a little weird okay so we're gonna do colon curly bracket action and then instead of doing run command we're gonna type open URL and then we actually just type in the URL so action colon apostrophe open URL apostrophe colon did I just do something I just deleted it anyway um doesn't really make much of a difference but um you're just gonna type in open URL and then you're gonna do value and then uh value and then whatever the URL is and you gotta uh you know put it it's gonna it's gonna look like this um click event colon action colon open underscore URL comma value and you're gonna do another colon do double those and then HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com forward slash user slash ketchup burger 927 and then so that would be that and then you would just have the stuffs behind it it's quite simple now it is it can be very very lengthy like for example you know <laughs> just looking at this one it's super lengthy and I am I'm only on the first page <laughs> it's super long but um it was a lot of fun making these and it is really cool to see how it turned out and that it all works you know so I'm really happy about it so um don't hate donate be sure to donate if you'd like to donate to this channel and really support this channel um, also, you can support this channel by liking this video or just giving it a rating in general because I want to know what you guys think of these videos. I want to know what videos you do like, what videos you don't like, if you like the length of the videos, if they're too short, if they're too long. Basically, anything that you have a complaint about or that you like about it, you know, just tell me in the comments below or, you know, just like it and dislike it. It just helps me to know what I'm doing right and wrong in these in these videos if I'm failing them or if I'm actually doing pretty good, you know? So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you dudes in the next episode.